I have a theory he's gonna show up again today. Stakeout? We're doing a stakeout for Scott. Time is running out. Car's still there. He's there. He's there. Oh, he's, he's there. there. He's there. He just walked. He just walked. Go, 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 go. What's good guys, Matthias here. Back with another video for you today. Got a couple plans, nothing, uh, well, I don't know if anything's too exciting, you never know, right? But the first thing I wanted to do with you guys is go through your comments based on the last video. So that's one of the first things we're doing from now on is we're uh, reading comments, specifically also question of the day. So yesterday's question of the day was if you were Scott, where would you be right now? In that video, <laughs> <laughs> we kind of had a little bit of an answer to that question, uh, stealing the Mountaineer. He showed up and actually took the Mountaineer. It was it was a trip. You're going to have to see that video. But basically, the Mountaineer then, as we were chasing him, reappeared back in the exact same spot. So that was just a bizarre happenstance that happened. Regardless, I'm going to go through some of your comments on that question of the day. If you were Scott, where would you be? Question of the day. If I were Scott, judging from the confused state he was probably in, I'd probably start going to all Syntec locations close in hopes to find one that's still operating. Honestly, that's a fantastic theory. It's definitely a possibility of like, where is he? Where is he going? Where, where is he? You know what I mean? Like if he's actually disoriented, if he's actually confused, considering when he like came into the studio, just being like, where, where is Syntec? Where, where's Wes? Where's Dev? He's probably out searching for Syntec locations, which is an eerie thought considering like, as far as I know, most of them shut down. Answer, personally, if I were Scott, I would most likely go to some place that had sentimental value to me or someone that I know goes there often where I could possibly get some answers from that person. Another possibility is that he visited old Syntec locations. So a lot of you guys had that same idea that he's out visiting other Syntec locations. Of these addresses, I do not currently know. I know of a couple Syntec locations that I will never go back to. Actually a couple, maybe just one. Uh, we're currently working in an old Syntec location that obviously we repurposed to be Spellbound. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how this whole thing came about. But yeah, I just, I don't even know where those are. I do have a theory about this whole thing and that's gonna motivate hopefully a little bit of today's adventure. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll get to that in a second. I'm, I'm gonna keep reading comments. Theory, Scott has a hidden transponder that triggers a camouflaged gate to an underground company parking space, puts one mountaineer down and picks another one up. <laughs> Could you imagine the level of insanity that that would be if like the parking lot just slowly raised and there's this hidden underground parking lot. <laughs> Forget that dude. It sounds like Scott's more like James Bond than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Two things that should be top priority check, says Fidoop. Number one, if you have a camera set up in the vault, you viewed it before, check it. The case might be stolen or magically disappearing. That's a great idea. I'll add that to my large to-do list. <laughs> Number two, just like with the first Mountaineer, put a tracker on this one and pay attention to the traveling patterns. See if it teleports or ends up being placed somewhere and a new third Mountaineer shows up. That being if Scott moves it again. Okay, that's fantastic. Off camera, I will move the tracker from the old, totally destroyed Mountaineer, and I will put it on the new Mountaineer. That's a moot point if someone who wants to steal it is watching this now, now they know to look for it, but it is what it is. Those are great, two great suggestions. I will make one happen and I'll try to see if I can film the other one. Time loop. There's a few movies roughly about it. Every so often a timeline and everything involved gets reset back to a certain starting point. So if in this case, the suitcase Mountaineer and Scott, possibly a whole lot more. Is that what we're dealing with? That's absolutely wild. I mean, you know, those are some of the theories we have on this board. Okay, so here's the question of the day. You all are going crazy talking to me about looping and time travel and all that crazy stuff. So question of the day is, how would that work? If Scott is looping, how? Logically, cause and effect, how on earth does that work, okay? We can talk about quantum mechanics all day long, but where's the logic in it, right? If you actually understand quantum mechanics, help me here because I do not. <laughs> so how would that chain of events actually play out? How would Scott looping through time actually work? That is the question of the day that I need your help with. Let's get to the board. Tanner gave me this idea. I'm gonna use my little camera here Love this little thing. I'm gonna use this little camera here to film actually the board even closer when I'm making these uh, adjustments here. By the way, I still have yet to redo my office. I've been busy 
with some nightmares here, in case you haven't realized. I, I have an insane life. So we don't have a lot to add, but basically one of the things that I really do want to add, more than anything else right now, is to make sure that we're keeping in mind y'all's theory about looping, that Scott is possibly looping over here. So I'm gonna throw this up here, and I'm gonna write loop, looping, is Scott looping? And what does that entail and how on earth would that work? The next thing we want to do here is connect Chloe to Deb. Because that's something that we discovered from the help of you guys. And in the, in the video that Scott was in here, that he was trying to rescue her from the experiments that she was running. So let's connect that here. And we're gonna use black because black is Fact. White is missing, green is theory, for all you newbies. They have experimented on her. Okay, the board is done for now, on to find more. Looking over the footage yesterday, didn't get much of a chance to when it all went down. That is him, he's literally getting into the car right now. Wait, the car's moving! Let's get in your car! What? what? This is a dead what? end! What on earth? But looking over the footage this morning too, that was definitely the same guy that appeared at our studio, haphazardly going by the name of Scott. Yeah, same guy that got into the car and drove away. If you guys missed that video, make sure you check that out. That was a trip, both those videos. It was a trip when he showed up, I showed up again and took the Mountaineer, uh, which is technically speaking, my car, identical VIN number to my exact car. So that's wild. Why take the car and then, it, and then just bring it right back? What is happening? Instead of just asking that question, I truly, want to find out what the heck is happening. So I'm going to convince the team today that we should stake out at the exact same time he stole it last time, at the exact same time it appeared on the camera the day before, because I noticed that little pattern. The exact same time the first Mountaineer appeared going around on our Nest security cameras was the exact same time in the day that he took the car again and that it appeared again on the same security feed doing the exact same thing 24 hours later. So I'm thinking we should stake out, you know, during the work day, don't have to wait till night. <laughs> Not that hard of a sell. And we should uh, see if we can catch him in the act, see what he's actually doing not lose him this time. That's my goal. But I uh, got some meetings beforehand, so let's uh, get to it. First meeting I got for all you software devs out there is a backlog refinement meeting with the team. So what that means is we go through all the work that we need to do, we scale it, we rate it, we estimate how much work it is. Oh, we're really having fun here. You guys are excited for this backlog <laughs> refinement meeting. We, Bailey and I have recently discovered that we both had the same level of like fan fever about One Direction, but we've <laughs> never really unpacked that with each other. Let's also, I'm making a copyright strike. No, uh, like we say no. it. Yeah. Well, not in that voice. Maybe not. I don't think so. I don't think that was good enough. They're probably not <laughs> going to recognize it's the same song. <laughs> yeah. So I just slipped into an old One Direction song and she joined and I didn't want the moment to stop, but now you're here. <laughs> and the moment to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's do this thing. Wait, Sam, I have a question for you. Yeah, what about <laughs> we it? We just finished the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. For the viewers, because they're like, wait, what just happened? You just cut to nothing. <laughs> do you want to stake out to catch him going to the Mountaineer? Do you think he's going to do it like at the same time? So I the found theory? out he, he did it two Two days in a row at the exact mm -hmm. same time. Yeah. I have a theory he's gonna show up again today. I mean. Mike, you think we should? Dude, I don't know what's going on I, I think we should. <laughs> yeah? I, I think we should. The fact that the car was already there when we came back from following him, like something very strange is happening. Yeah, so, wild. Bailey? Wait, but wait, do we just like cancel our meeting? Well, yeah, it's it's, after, it's later in the day. Okay. Well, not to do it later in the day. We'll do it when he's gonna show up. So we'll yeah. just move our meeting. Just move everything around? Yeah. Let's go. Do you wanna stake out and see if we can catch Scott? actually getting into the Mountaineer. I have a, an instinct, a theory, that it's he's gonna show up at the exact same time today. I already said yes, so if you're looking at me for confirmation, <laughs> you know, I'll be there. You know, if Sam does it, <laughs> I do it, so. Sisters! <laughs> We're <deal>. Sisters! <laughs> oh, I hated that. <laughs> it's getting memed. Whoa! <laughs> Cut to lunchtime, and uh, their Uber order's late. So they're just kind of uh, all waiting. <laughs> 
in a line waiting for Uber. <laughs> okay, it's almost time. See if the staff is nervous. Hey, 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 y'all ready? Barely. What does well, that mean? Well, I mean, like, I still, I would imagine, I still need to, like, get the camera up and running so oh, that yes, we can be, like, ready sure. in the car. Yeah, so that was just we, a practical response. We have a little time. What's the plan? Wait. The plan is, so I... I'm sorry, I don't know where to stand anymore. Oh, why? Because I'm not, you're usually I'm behind not, the camera. Yeah, I'm usually, like, <laughs> just trying to look at you while filming. And so I'm like, yeah, what's that? Here's what we're going to do. Where the mountaineer is, there's, like, the, a big old bush-type mm -hmm. area, electrical area. Okay. That's oh. a pretty great place to hide. Okay. Woods is calling me. I'm probably going to tell him the plan. Okay. We're just going to chill out there. Do we have, like, camouflage clothing? <laughs> you guys are doing a stakeout? We're doing a stakeout for Scott. <laughs> That's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Giggles. I don't like that. <laughs> it makes me nervous. Right? I mean, it is kind of strange, especially just after the interaction that yeah, we had with him the first time. I... It's kind of, I mean, like, what are we going to say to him? Confront him. <laughs> Ask him questions. Like, straight up. I don't want to be hostile or anything like that because I feel like, you know, I probably caught it in the comments below. If this dude's legit, then our first encounter was not great. But I do need a lot more information because I'm connected to that stuff. That car's legally in my name. So like, I need to kind of know that information, you know what I mean? So like, what's the main thing that you want to get out of this conversation with him? Where is he going? That is a good question. <laughs> Very valid. It's a great question. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. Like, why did he show up? You know, who is he really? What's he been doing? Like, why all of a sudden come to our studio? Just tons, tons of, tons of, tons, 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 tons. I have a lot of questions about all the stuff in the briefcase. Like, is that just world building like cosplay or <laughs> is that like an actual fake passport i think a lot of my questions are more about like asking him about the stuff in the briefcase but also maybe about like the stuff we know about syntec to almost like mm -hmm. see if he's right you know kind of like test him what? what do you think i'm just excited really well a little bit <laughs> tell little me bit. more i'm like excited in the fact i'm like intrigued <laughs> I'm intrigued. It all started with a mountaineer, and then we have another mountaineer, and so I'm like, okay, what's like, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> so I'm just, you know. I did forget. He's that going we through have it. Some dirt on this guy from the briefcase, like with, with, there were illegal things in there. <laughs> or I don't, I mean, the the fake passport is technically illegal. I True. Know. If it is illegal, if we did deduce that correctly. Yeah. Well, how do we know it's it's fake? Could be like a real passport, but why would he have the, yeah, it's probably well, But there was, it's because of the note that was on it that was like, take this and like, get on the most random flight yeah, you can. Reach. You're probably right, it's probably fake. But we do have confirmation now that it pretty, like it has to be the real Scott Cleric from that video that we saw. It's, I keep forgetting about that. It's, a, it's forgetting. a definite possibility. It kind of has to be, he's wearing the same suit. This guy, it sounded like him. Oh yeah, but that's enough for you guys? He's in a yes. tech lab, I mean. That's enough, let's pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's pack it up, no. Okay, here's the thing that you guys aren't remembering. Remember that whole time when, when y'all thought you were being haunted and you're like, oh, we're being haunted. Yeah. Things aren't always what meet the eye. Did I butcher that? No, you kind of like combined <laughs> two phrases. Things aren't always what they seem and like... There's more than, there's more than, more than meets the, the eyes. eyes. Wow. Things aren't what meets the eyes, guys. <laughs> Quote me on that. But you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yes. No, I, I, Sometimes you can convince yourself of a narrative based off of what you're looking at. And yeah, you don't have all the information to even develop another narrative. I understand it could be something like something completely different. But what we have right now, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense to the extent of it making sense. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't quite make sense just yet, but time is running out. And so let's actually get some information that makes it make sense. Let's do it, 10 minutes. Let's get in position. Is your car already back there? Why does my car need to be back there? Is that where, oh, I thought we were sticking out in your car. We're hiding in the bushes. We're just going to be standing out there in the bushes. You guys would rather go in my car? No, I mean, it's all right. It's a nice day out. It's probably better for us to hide. Car still there. Just our bodies. That's what she said. Yeah, I was just thinking we should be in your car in case he drives off. We're going to catch him before he does if he shows up. We're, catch him physically? I mean, hey, hey, Scott. Yeah. He'll turn around and he won't be driving away. Yeah. Still here. So behind these bushes? Yeah, just back here. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This is a nice little area. Body cam. In Hi. case I need to stop. Do in case that. I need to run. <laughs> in case I need to run and you can't keep up with that huge system. So what are we gonna say when we catch him? Just like, hey, Scott. Probably best to approach it non-confrontationally. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, hey. Push him against the car. Should we kind of chat about what it is we're trying to ask this guy? 
Are, are we you... going into this with the same intention? We did. We, we already talk, talked about that. Oh, okay. Well, Woods was just nervous? bringing it up again. Yeah, I, I am. Should I, like, hide? Or should I try and stay on the Mountaineer? Do both. I don't think we should try and, like, scare it. No, no, I just don't want him to see us and then not even approach the car. Okay. Why wouldn't There's he? There's a sticky hand. And a marble. And a roly-poly. And a roly-poly. Two minutes. <laughs> Someone there. just wait for their parents when they're at work. With a single marble and a sticky hand. If I was a kid, I'd probably be back here just doing my own thing. That feels very right. One minute. One minute, okay? Oh, One minute. He was the time. Okay, so... Shh, 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 shh. Hey Sam, can you uh, can you see through here? If he, in case uh, he walks by, we got like 15 seconds here. Okay. How do you know he's gonna come from over there? Uh, I don't. I, but I can see both angles, I guess. I'm gonna roll on this, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. I think I'm rolling. I'm rolling. He's there. He's there. Oh, he's, he's there. there. He's there. He just walked. He just walked go, by. Go, 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 go. Uh, Scott. Ah. No. Scott. No. Uh, <laughs> Listen, listen. Tech employees are restricted from speaking to uh, any uh, reporters, so no, uh, no. Hey, relax, relax, relax. I'm not here to question. Please. Well, hey, 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 hey. Before you go, before you go, before you go, please. Tech employees are restricted from speaking I... to all members of the media or, or any reporters, so no comment. I understand. I understand. Sorry. Please, 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 just hear me reporters. out. Hear me out. I'm not a reporter. Okay. This looks like a reporting rig. I'm not a reporter. Do you understand? I'm not a reporter. I'm actually. <laughs> actually got some questions for you and it's I'm, I'm, I'm it kind of in, it kind of involves you look where is Wes right now I, I, I he, in his office <laughs> <laughs> no. no look you, where are you going right now where are you going I just had to get something. I just, uh, I just had to, I just had to get something. So, can you answer a couple of my questions? I don't know you or who you are. We're not reporters. Or about you and um, you're asking. We we talked to you guys. Last help me out week. here. Help me out here. You came to the front of the building claiming to work at Syntec. But we've been in that building for years. Something's off. Something's off for us. Something's off for you. I'm sure. We just need your help. I talked. You you talked to me last week. Yes. You you came in asking in for Wes building. or Deb. Last week. Last week. Yes. Yes. Last week. We can prove it to you. We have footage of it. Who are you? My name's Matthias. This Woods. is Woods, Bailey, and Sam. Okay. We are Project 863. Does that mean anything to you? We work in that building one week How ago. How did you hear about that? <laughs> we are that. I met you a week ago. You don't remember that? No, I... No, no. You literally this walked is... in my front door. You don't remember any of that. You work at Syntec. I don't no. work at Syntec. That's not Syntec. That is, that's Syntec. I work here. <laughs> no. Not are anymore. you at work right now? Yes. What, yes, what, what building are you going to? I'm le I'm I'm leaving. I can't tell you where I'm going. Okay, does the name Deb mean anything to you? Because <laughs> this is apparently her project. We've been working with her for what? I mean, how long has it been now? Years? She has documents about me since I was born. She has documents about all of us. She has gathered us to be a part of Look, this project. Ask me anything you want, okay? Ask me anything you want. I'll be straight up with you. You understand? Why did Deb reach out to you? It. She said to stop Nelson. Deb's, <coughs> Deb's, Deb's trying to stop Nelson. At least that's what we think. We've never actually met her in person. Okay, stop Nelson from what? From hurting people. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. We just need your help. Do you have a briefcase in there? Yeah. Did you just walk up with it? Yeah. I take it with me everywhere. Can I see it? Look, I can prove to you that what I'm saying is 100% fact. Because I can tell you 
most likely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, exactly what's in that. Listen, know. <laughs> we know. I Let's know what's in there. I know what's in there because you came in to my studio, you left it open. What you have in there is some sort of personal planner, you have a Mars bar, <laughs> you have a passport for a loon, quantum mechanics name. book, a quantum mechanics book. Uh, what some else? Some device. You, ha yeah, you have device. you have a device, some sort of device that we think electrically, char electrically injects stimulates serum. and injects serum. The contacts in your planner are Chloe, Deb, Wes, and Nelson. And there's a video, Scott. There's a video. You're on the video. We're not trying to get you or anything. We just need help. We just need answers to our questions. Uh, um, I, uh, sorry, I, um, I, um, shut up, this is a lot. Yeah. yeah. Look, I can make it simple for you. Can you just answer a couple questions for me? I'll try. First off, am I right? Uh, yeah, yes. Can I see? Yes. Just, just for my own edification here, can I see what's in that? Video Mars bar. Wait. You you we opened, opened that. that. Do you always have a new Mars bar on you? When's Wait. the last time you had a Mars bar? I have one a couple times a month. Look, if that doesn't prove that we're working with Deb somehow, we also know what's on the DVD. We know about the conversation that you had with what looked like another Syntec employee about Chloe. Who's Chloe? You're not working for Nelson. No. 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 Watch the tapes, tell you what was in my briefcase, and then send you out here. To no. 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 Is that possible? Would he know? Anything's possible with them, with Nelson. Yeah, we kind of got that. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Chloe? Chloe is um, someone uh, I've, I've been working with, and uh, things got carried away. So, is, is can that you tell me more? Not yet. There's a passport. For Loon, Ch Chelsea, Chelsea Loon. Loon. Is that Chloe? You gotta get her. What were they doing to her? I, it's, 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 they're destroying her. Everything that is her, it's not worth it. Are you trying to help her escape? Yeah, yes. We won't tell anyone. I, I mean, I don't even have access to Nelson or Wes. And I don't even have access to Deb anymore. Something's happened. That's where I'm going. You're going where? Let's see if I can find Deb. I think she's in trouble. You know where she is? I shouldn't be telling you any of this. Scott, we just Look, want to I, help you. I don't want to get you in trouble, man. But we're in trouble. I don't. Deb's I don't in trouble. Don't care about me. I don't care about trouble. Um, okay. There's a safe house. Deb had a safe house. Wes and Deb set it up. Why? I think she might be there. Just in case. <laughs> She's always living in in terror. She's just always hiding out. What was happening on that DVD? Who was that you were talking to? Just the tech, Xander. Zan Xander? Yeah, he's a friend, but he's... She's too ambitious. Things have been getting um, worse at uh, here. That started putting in precautions. Okay. You said she's trying to stop. Nelson, no, that's good. She was trying to stop Nelson. You're not aware. 
What is that? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, do you mean? what is that? Deb was murdered. And that's honestly what we're trying to figure out right now. We're trying to figure out who... Look, I'm sorry. I Do you know uh, how? I don't know no, how. Who, I don't or know who. When or anything. No, I don't know any how of that. How do you even know then? How do you know? She told me. She told me via an Apple II, our top suspect right now is Gary. What do you know about Gary? Gary? Gary, Gary Reynolds? Gary Reynolds? Gary Reynolds. From the government? Yeah. 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 What do you know about him? Anything, anything that can help us. He literally called our place and threatened us I, for the absolute. I never, I never talked with Gary. I didn't interact with Gary. I, I just, he just is a, a, a name that I know. Do you know what the absolute is? You have it. Well, we... We did, but... We did have it. Someone stole it. Someone stole it. And we don't know who. And it was the exact time of Deb's murder. Well, not the exact. It was the same day. Can you tell us anything about it? It's just that... We never should have made it. And if you had it, you, you, you definitely shouldn't have lost it. I'm so, aware of that. I'm so, aware someone of that. broke in and stole it. Someone broke um, in and literally stole it. We were supposed to meet up with Deb, actually, for the very first time in person the day that she died. She told us either she was going to show up or something else. And then Gary called us, called the payphone at the location we were at, and we were supposed to meet up with Deb at. So that's why he's kind of like our main <sighs> suspect. Maybe I don't know anything about Gary. I don't. He, he, he doesn't. He doesn't do anything other than make sure nobody looks too close. I mean, that's he's he's just the the safety net. Do you happen to know who an Autumn Hill is? Sure, of course. She's Nelson's assistant. Like an assistant? Like an assistant. Yeah, she's she's nice, but she. I mean, she'll she'll do anything Nelson says. So like maybe threaten you? Sure. She would threaten you? If Nelson asked her to. Oh my gosh. Why why do you have footage of that conversation? I just showed up on my desk with a note. You know who put it there? Yeah, it could be anybody. I mean what did the note say? Just stop making waves, but I don't I don't care what the consequences are. I, I have to get Chloe out of it. It's gone too far. Does Chloe have anything to do with that device? It's a scary device. It's better if you don't know. I'm sorry, you just have to trust me. You just have to trust me. I believe you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you, but... It, 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 just, it just has to do with... With, with what, why you're... What, is there anything else? I mean, like, I really appreciate you just taking the leap and trusting us. Is there anything else that you know that might be able to help us or? Just in, anything. I mean, we really just want to get to the bottom of what happened to Deb. Do you have a map? Or a, a, a yeah. book? Uh, 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 well, yeah. Well, we have. This map? It's just like. Like your pocket planner, like you have, you just just type it. Bit. Just type the address, and and it'll be in. It's just a, uh, a apple. That's an apple, yeah. will get you into the safe house. Deb's safe house. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure we're gonna cross paths again. Maybe. If hey, if you need anything, you you can come back, okay?
Thank you. Thank you. Where's he going? I don't think this was his car. What do you mean? This possibly goes to where Deb was murdered. Oh. Do we do we go? Are we going? Yeah. I think I think we have That's to. kind of a big deal. I'm not gonna I'm 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 not it's gonna leave heavy. that up to us. It's a little I, heavy. I'm gonna leave that up to them. Give me some wisdom here. I have no idea what to do with this. I'm not gonna rush into this. Please, how should I handle this? Wow. We're gonna ask subject four basically what they think possibly entering Deb's apartment. It's yeah. hard to think that she's been this close this whole time. Yeah, we're here. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh. I have no words for this. It was a mountaineer driving past Red Base. Is it gone? No. Guys! Guys! He's getting into the car!